Nimbus. Excuse me. The Space Gate to Dark World is charged up and now open. Welcome back, X, Twitch, YouTube. It's your boy, KDZ, bringing you guys another market watch. And again, guys, the reason why we do these videos is because I have a huge passion for trading card games. I love talking about trading card games, and I want to continue to build a community that has the same love and passion for admiring all those gorgeous floor windows like Cosmo Goodwitch that we're looking at, as I do. And with that, let's get into it. We left off yesterday. We were talking about some Clash of Rebellions. We were looking at some of the super rares. We were seeing just some of the prices for some super rares <clears throat> out of the set that's almost 10 years old now. Um, like I said, Dried Winds, 14 listings as well, 12 bucks. Ign Ignite Crusader, 20 listings as well, is legitimately $8. That $5 listing was damaged. Void Imagination, like those three cards don't have reprints. And do you have Red Eyes, Black Flare Dragon, which has, I think, one other reprint, which is the common. <clears throat> But it's like super rare has always been around the four to seven dollar price point since I've got back in the game in 2017. <laughs> of course, <clears throat> we always want to pivot to what's most important in our lives these days, which is the 25th anniversary rarity collection. That's what's most important. And I think we were looking at secret rares yesterday. Let's look at Platinum Secret Rares today. Dang, looking at Plat Secret Rares? Infinite Impermanence, 38 listings as well as 11.40. Mark price 11.43 is actually worth more than Pot of Prosperity Platinum Secret Rare. 55 listings as well as $9. Mark price 9.38. Nani? Okay. The Effect Veiler, Platinum Secret Rare. Uh, 59 listings as well as 8.95. Mark price 9.10. Baron the floors 92 listings as well as 668 mark price 645. I mean these these look so close to secret rare printings that the price disparity can't really be that different between this and a secret rare for it to make sense for you to actually pick this up. At least these top end ones. When you start getting down to the dollar ones, I mean you take your pick, they're all primed. And when you get to, around to uh, <clears throat> under three dollar price point, which is where they started on the first page. After you get like past uh, Nibiru, <laughs> two QCSRs I believe are undervalued right now. Part of extravagance and part of desires. I'm about to take a gander at those to see if they have moved. Them being around ten dollars is actually criminal. This tour guide, I think, is a really nice uh, Platinum Secret. This The Platinum Secrets are in a really, really tough spot. Look at that Dengirsu. <clears throat> that actually looks exceptional. That makes me want to take a look at all of the... It could just be how there, there's an Aurora Borealis behind him. But that makes takes me want, uh, makes me want to take a gander at all of the Exceed Platinum Secret Rares in this set. The Golden Lord is definitely popping in his little window the alternate art <clears throat> like that's what you get down here 90 cents 40 cents i mean 80 cents downer red eyes flare metal number 100 numeron galaxy eyes full armor I swear, I feel like they're just at that price because the lore window looks so good coupled with the um platinum secret rare uh, because it's an exceeds and then the ghost trick angel of mischief the only one the only other ones i think pop as hard are actually the spell cards the spell cards pop pretty hard and the link monsters pop pretty hard <laughs> cherubine is one of the cheapest platinum secret rares okay make that make sense it's cheaper than when the wind channel or prismatic secret rare okay and of course like always guys we're doing these market watches outside of live with the live shooting live with you guys so you know you're gonna hear the birds and the bees you know the wind blowing in the background and your occasional monster truck driving by <laughs> monster truck yo i ain't seen monster trucks in a minute what was there was like a good a, a a mean one that was like green that was like everybody knew it was famous <clears throat> guys shout out uh in the chat if you know what i'm talking about <clears throat> mm. 
yeah, these these platinum secret rares are interestingly priced, I must say. With how Cherubini is just one of the cheapest ones. But definitely these XC monsters. I th I think they're worth picking up just from their lower windows alone. And maybe even some of these spells. Rhoda, Small World, Nadir Servant. I mean, they're just so cheap. Let's go ahead and look at the. Let's check out the new challengers. <laughs> let's look at ultra rares. What are the ultra rares in the new challengers? <laughs> Gialto, Darkness of the Yang Zing. 101 listings as well as two dollars more price. Five thirteen. Does this card have a reprint? Sacrifice. Ultra rare out of the new challengers. Twenty nine listings as well as ninety nine cents. Market price two twenty three. Twenty nine listings. Okay. Herald of Ultimateness. Um, 97 listings as well as 50 cents market price, 96 cents. Let's get a reprint in the Megaton. Rubik, Mal Branch of the Burning Abyss. Denko Seca. Shout out, original print Denko Seca. I remember when that was a, a meta, a, a side deck meta card in like 2018. Um, or was it 2017? It was either 2017 or 2018. It was in there though. Zaborg the Mega Monarch. Fusion Reserve. Yes, original print ultra rare out of the new challengers. Night Dragolish. Okay. And Lance for Hennekiss. The, the sneak peek ultra rare out of the new challengers. Dope lore window. They got the setting in the background. So you know they're doing world building. They're doing lore building. Okay, so this Dragonless card, it does have a reprint um, in the Megatons as an ultra rare. What about... A sacrifice. Does this have a reprint? I know Cleaford Scout does. 50 listings is all 75 cents. Market price $1.80. I know that has a reprint. It had one in Pendulum Evolution that came as a super rare. Oh, Sacrifice has a reprint. Uh, Ultra Rare 2015 Megatons and Ultra Rare and then Megatons for some reason. 18 listings is all is $1.60. Market price $1.78. So I guess Cleaforts are, are a thing somewhere. Shout out to Cleefords and Gialto. G did Gialto get the reprint? Yes, Gialto has other versions. Darkness of the Yang Zing, the 2015 Mega 10. So the Mega 10 did a number. It did a number on the new Challengers uh, foil cards. Let's look at the um, Supers. Herald of the Arc Light. Okay, that card had went without a reprint, I want to say, for a while. So wait, is this... I think this is the one where they did the special edition. Yeah, when they did the special edition and they gave, they made every super rare in the special edition say limited edition at the bottom of it. So every super rare is different from the original print, but they all have like a, you know, a special edition extra reprint that is actually singled out here. That's filtered out or that's categorized. Rescue Hamster, Exceeds Baryon, Chaos Exceeds Baryon, Hope. Baryon, Hope. Mock in a Mega Form. You know, like I said, Herald of the Arc like was some money, but Edge and Sabres, I think, was some money at 1.2, wasn't it? Like when people were using like fright fry, I think it was like with the branded uh, Tao T Shadow of the Yang Zing. I wonder, did they give like these reprints or did they not give them reprints because they gave them these special editions? Yo, they might not have gave these super rare reprints because they gave them special editions. That's interesting, but I don't see unless they're doing like Yang Zing support. Maybe they brought back the, the big homie Ding Long so. They may be gearing up for some some Yang Zing support. I wonder where that fit in. You're making me think about the lore. Zephra. Got me wanting to go into Zephra cards. 
Yeah, so you got Zephra, which is like this combination of Satellar Knight, Yang Zing, Ritual Beast, um, L Swarm, Shadow, like it's this crossover pendulum mailed of like four or five different themes and i'm like if they were to bring back support i mean just the ridiculousness the ridiculousness of the combos because these cards like they work with their original like is the fraxy treasure the yang zing will work with yang zings but it will also work with zephyr cards you see what i'm saying just cre creating ridiculous bridges and then if they add new support that like takes advantage of the bridges just the the combinations are making my head spin just thinking about it just look at all the text. I don't think I read like half of these cards, and the text is real. <laughs> but speaking of Zephyr, I mean, you got Oracle of Zephyr here out of Cross Souls. Yeah, it's looking pretty cheap right now. Let's filter first ads. <coughs> Starting at about four bucks. Uh, I, I've seen it cheaper. I've seen it at like two, like a dollar fifty-two. Um, but I mean, it's probably not going to fall around that price ever again. I mean, there's only forty-one listings for uh, first editions on the market, so yeah, it's probably not going to hit those lows ever again. If you want your Oracle of Zephyrus before they announce new support, I would say now is the the time to grab it. Let's go into cross souls. Reverse engineer this. Let's look at the ultras. What they give us across souls in terms of ultras. Infernoid Permeus, 26 listings, as well as 453, market price 567. Oh, and Ritual Beast OT Guy Paleo, 12 listings, as well as $19, market price 543. This was on a ridiculous buyout mode because of the Ritual Beast support that they announced. And then there's the Frag Sea Treasure, the Yang Zing, and Satellite Knight Zephyr Thuban again. Bloom Diva, the Melodious Choir. And Sea Dragoons of Draconia, another Draconian card. The Terminus of the Burning Abyss. Ultra Rare coming out of Cross Souls. Was this played in Burning Abyss? I was not in the game when Burning Abyss was a thing. It just does have a reprint. And, like, they're in, in Premium Gold, Infinite Gold. Okay, hold on. Let me... Earning. Wow. Wow. So that yeah, that's all it's gonna give me. Um, but no, this made me want to look at a couple of cards. There's Virgil, the rock star. Why'd I go to White Swords? Whoa, whoa, innocent virgin. What is this what they're doing over here? What is this? Innocent Virgin Priestess. Oh no. Oh no, we went too far. <laughs> we were looking for Virgil out of the new challengers. Virgil Rockstar, the Burning Abyss, Secret Rare. 52 listings as low as 87 cents, market price eight. Are you kidding me? This is dirt cheap. Grab your Virgils now, guys. Let's look at first editions. This is what I thought was always interesting. Like, Dante was always money, but then Virgil and the other one, um, the Pilgrim, <coughs> they were always, like, super cheap. What was the Pilgrim's name? Dante got his QCSR. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna just have to. Oh yeah, we do burning bits. And you got Dante QCSR and Malakota Ghost Rare under twenty bucks. Nice. Cherubini Secret Rare somehow still holding a seven dollar price point when it got the. Where's the Cherubini QCSR? They give us Dante QCSR now. Cherubini QCSR. Cherubini QCSR four bucks. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. That should probably be the second most expensive. Uh, Dante Pilgrim of the that's why I typed in Pilgrim. Why didn't anything pop up for Yu-Gi-Oh? It comes out of cross souls. 54 listings is those two dollars mark price 302. It's still pretty cheap. It's not as cheap as Virgil. 
And Virgil's dirt cheap ass, but it's cheap. But I mean, yeah, they go all out. Malakota secret rare, Dante secret rare, Dante Pilgrim secret rare, Virgil secret rare. Then Dante QCSR. It was around the forty dollar price point. Nine listings as low as fifty eight ninety nine. It's still, I'm pretty sure you're getting a playset for the price of what it would cost to pull one. So it's still really good value even at sixty dollars. So if you wanted to place your bet on Dante, may it ever appreciate to its original. Man, ever appreciate to is the EBP of what a QCSR should be out of Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge. The other thing is, is the more the seal goes up on the product, the more the estimated base price for a QCSR goes up. So it's like if the seal goes up to say like seventy dollars for Monsters Revenge, and it runs you two hundred and ten to pull to pull one QCSR at random out of packs, then a play set would be $70. So I could see Dante going up with the price of seal going up 15. I could see Dante going up 10 from where it's at right now, just to stay at that range of you can get a play set for the price of what it would cost to pull one, just from that appreciation alone. Not to imagine if there's any meta implication, you know, any type of shenanigans people are using at regional, it's just anything. <laughs> but of course guys none of this is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor this is not a financial advising channel i'm just telling you guys how i look at these ccg markets and burning a bitch cards max rarity are primed particularly the chair beanie that is just that is dirt cheap but like kakarot <laughs> send me your energy so we can get that space gate charged up for a part two we come out here and drop on the sun is shining right now it's bright and it feels pretty good um so it should be relatively easy to try to get that space gate charged up but let me know guys and with that we're gonna be getting up out of here nimbus are we in there are we in there yeah we in there